Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome back to the channel. So today is the day I finally decided to buy Stardew Valley. Now I know I'm like a year behind everyone else and everyone's probably already played this game a million and one times but it's been on my wish list for so long I just had to get in and give it a go. So that is what we will be doing today. So we are starting a new game and I have never played this one ever before. So I'm a bit of a noob, so you guys are going to just have to throw all your hints and tips down in the comment section below because I honestly have no idea what we are doing. Alright, so farm name. Let's go Hollyville. Yeah, I think that sounds alright. And our favourite thing is... Let's go with flowers. Flowers are our favorite thing. We are a female and then we can pick our hair color and everything like that. So I might maybe do that. Oh, it's got like a little mouse face on it. That's cute. I like that. Let's check out. We might actually maybe leave the jeans because I think they look all right. Oh, no, these are our accessories. Well, we don't want a beard. We don't want a mustache. <laughs> We might go with purple hair. I think that looks all right. And I don't mind the jeans. All right, so what do we got over here? We have a standard farm, a simple plot of land with a, a large amount of open space to design your farm. Riverland farm. Your farm is spread across several islands and scenic riverbanks. Fish are more common here than usual. Forest farm. The woods limit your farming space, however, the bounty of the forest is nearly all at your doorstep. Hilltop farm. Rocky terrain and a winding river make it difficult to design your farm. However, a mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. Or we have a wilderness farm. There's plenty of good land here, but beware. At night, the monsters come out. <laughs> all right, um, well, we don't want that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go the Riverland farm. Why not? Let's give that a go. And we're going to go OK. And for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. So about years later. So we're at Joja. Join us. Thrive. Work. Rest. Oh, jeez. It just looks like we're in a factory or something like we're in an office. Oh, there we are. Life's better with Georgia. I don't know if it is. Everyone looks pretty miserable. And there's like a dead guy over there. That's not cool. Oh, we're sad. Oh, we got Grandpa's letter. Looks like we're going to read it and see what that's all about. Let's get that guy. Dear Holly, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belonged. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Hollyville Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honour the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure thing, Grandpa. So I guess we're heading to Hollyville now. Beep beep on our little bus. Hello, you must be Holly. 
I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you will follow me. All right, sure. Ooh, this is our little farm, how cute. This is Hollyville Farm. Yay. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little bit of dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. We sure will. We'll make this place look pretty as a peach. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Well, that's fabulous. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> Does he mean by rustic he's saying it's a bit of a dump? <laughs> rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more appropriate though. Hey, that is rude. Don't listen to her, Holly. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Ooh, well that might be an idea. Maybe we might have to go get a house upgrade. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Sure. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Ah. Ooh, rooster's growing. Must be morning. Ah, this must be our bed. So to move, we're using W, A, S, and D. To run, we're using shift. And to check, we are clicking with our right mouse button. All right, so what is in here? Ooh, we got some parsnip seeds. We have a new journal entry. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started from Mayor Lewis. Well, thank you, Mayor Lewis. Oh, we have a, is this a TV? Select a channel so we can do a weather report, a fortune teller, living off the land. Let's check out living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Oakley dokily. What else have we got in here? Let's see the weather report. Welcome to Kozo 5, your number one source for weather, news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. That is extremely handy. And we've got the fortune teller. Ah, I sense that a new viewer has joined us. A young lady from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Well, that's not good. It's our first day here in Stardew Valley and we're already getting bad messages. So we got a model ship here. Can I do anything with this fireplace? Hmm. Oh, I can light the fire. That's cool. All right. So I guess I can probably, can I pick that stuff up? Oh, I can pick this stuff up and move it around. There we are. That's better. That looks a little bit more like my home. Ah, oh, so I guess we're just going to cruise around out here. So what do we got? So we've got an axe, a hoe, a watering can, a pickaxe, and a scythe. It can cut grass into hay if you've built a silo. Okay. We have an axe used to chop wood. All right, so let's uh, go chop some wood. How do I... Oh, beautiful. Ah, do I need to chop these as well? Ah, I do. Awesome. 
All right. So I guess we got to clean up this whole area so then we can start planting some of our own little crops and things. Oh, and we're collecting fiber from these guys. Can't chop the rocks. All right. Fair enough. So it said about building a silo and then we can make hay. So I'm guessing all this stuff here is grass. I don't really want to chop that down until we have a silo then, do I? Um, what else we got? We got a pickaxe. Can I use this to get the stones? Oh, I can. Excellent. There we are. I wonder how we go about... All right, so we got a hoe. I wonder how we go about planting these parsnip seeds. So how do I hoe the ground? Oh, there we go. Now I wonder, is that enough room for us to seed our parsnip? Oh, I've got one left, so we need one more little bit chomped out. Oops, not over there. Tia! Did pick up some clay though. Um, so I guess I'm just going to place that there. And then do I just get my watering can? And water these guys? Oh, I do. Yay! So we have our first little crop. So we got some little parsnip seeds. How cute is that? What is over here? Journal. Introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet a new farmer. Alright, so I'm going to have to head in town and do that. I don't actually know where town is. I'm guessing town might be this way. Um, no idea. Ooh, what are they? What is that? Can I, uh... Alright, get my pickaxe. Can I chop that up? What is that? Is that some worms? Huh. What about my axe? Get it. What about a hoe? Oh, it was just some stone. Okay, they look like little wormies. Ah, looks like we're nearly in town. All right, so what do we got over here? We've got a hospital, and there's a question mark here. What is in here? Ah, so today is Monday the 1st. Oh, we've got Lewis's birthday on the 7th, okay. We have Vincent's birthday also. We have an egg festival. Kill. Alrighty. Is there anything else up here on this board? Nope. Just looks like it's just a calendar. Alright, so I guess, can we go into the shop? Ooh, this is a pretty handy shop. Well, she's saying hello. Hello there. Talk to you. Ooh, okay. So we can buy stuff. Welcome to Pierre's. Need some supplies? So we can get some parsnip seeds, cauliflower seeds, oh. You can get a whole heap of stuff from you. All right, well, we don't have much money. So I'm wondering, maybe we might get, um, because we've already got parsnips and they only take four days to mature. I wonder, maybe I might get another five of these guys. And we might also get the bean starter. Plant these in the spring. Takes 10 days to mature, but keeps producing after that. Yields multiple beans per harvest. Grows on a trestle. All right, so I might maybe get four of those. We've only got $160 left. So you're going to have to be careful that we don't spend all our money straight away. So I wonder, can I come down and introduce myself to you? Hello, nice to meet you. So I guess that's one. Can we go out through here? Whoops, I keep I keep trying to hoe everything. Let's go this way. Oh, this shop is massive. Can I take your things? Oh, I can search them. Oops, I didn't mean to hoe it. Can I search it? This cupboard is full of exercise equipment. Okay, so whoever is here must like exercising. What else we got down here? Looks like some sort of shrine. Altar of Yoba. Okay, no idea who Yoba is, but obviously he must be someone pretty important if you've got a whole altar there for him. Hi! Hello, you must be Holly, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Nice to meet you. 
just slowly being nosy going through their house. You're not good enough friends with Pierre or Caroline to enter their bedroom. Oh, that's fair enough. I didn't mean to go into your bedroom. I was just being nosy, just trying to walk around your house. You're not good enough friends with Abigail to enter her bedroom. Okay, so where's Abigail? Are you Abigail? Let's talk to you. Oh, that's right. I heard there was someone new moving into that old farm. All right, well, I need you to move out of my way so I can get past. Thank you. Can I follow her into her room? She left the door open. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't follow her. All right, well, there's, the, the door's open, though. Let me in. <laughs> so I guess... Have we talked to everyone out here? Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Holly, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I also buy produce from you for a good price. I wonder... How much money will you give me? Ooh. Backpack upgrade for 24 slots is 2000 well we don't have enough money right now but that's going to be extremely handy because i can see my inventory is actually already full hi oh this is shane don't know why you were talking to me okay he's kind of rude who we got here alex hey you're the new girl huh i think we're going to get along great i'm alex all right, so I wonder how many people we've met so far. We've met 10 of 28. All right. Must be a whole heap of people here. Oh, there's a little pink house here. Let's go in here. Who lives here? Oh, she's a pretty little girl. Let's go say hello to her. Hi. Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? We sure are. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Nice to meet you, Haley. What have we got? Can we go through here? No, that's her bedroom. Okay. What about, can I go through this door up here maybe? Oh, there's an Emily that lives here as well, so... We must need to go find Emily to talk to as well. All right. Oh, it's getting dark. It's 10 past eight already, Jeez, Time flies. It's locked, open from nine till eight. All right. I wonder where everyone's hiding then. Oh, that's a pretty looking flower, isn't it? The Star Drop Saloon. Food and spirits. All right, let's go in here. Maybe there's some people in here. There's a whole heap of people in here. Let's talk to him. Oh, what all you have? We have some beer, some salad, some bread, spaghetti, pizza, coffee. Jeez, we can have a whole heap of food. I'm not hungry at the moment, so it's okay. We just want to introduce ourselves to everyone. So we have Pam. Hey, kid. Name's Pam. All right, Pam. Nice to meet you. Who we got down here? We got a bloke down here. Hi, buddy. This is Clint. Er, hi. I'm Clint. Who we got up here? Can I talk to you? No, I can't talk to you. You don't want to talk to me? All right. So he's that antisocial type that just sits near the fireplace. Fair enough. What about over here? Can I talk to you? Ooh. I can read... It on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. This is Emily. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. All right, Emily. Nice to know. Hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Salon. Awesome. Is there anyone out here? No, it doesn't look like there is. All right, so was there anyone else off in the far right? Ooh, we can play eight ball and things. That is cool. We got some arcade games. There's a skull shaped keyhole. What's this one? Here we are, home sweet home. Let's go in.
All right, I guess it's bedtime because it's half past 11. Go to sleep for the night. Yes, we will. Ah, beautiful. Another beautiful day. So, oh, we have some mail. Hello. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you from Willie. All right, Willie, we will do. I wonder, is there anything I should sell? Might actually sell my wood and stone and stuff. Because I don't, I, I've got plenty that I can pick up at the moment. So I'm just worried that we're not going to have enough money. So I should probably plant down our little beans. There we are. And we want to plant these guys down. So there you go. One. Two. Three and four like that. Excellent. All right, get our watering can out. Give these guys, oops, give these guys a bit of a water. I wonder if I'm meant to water our turnips again now as well. Maybe we might just in case. Don't want them dying on us, our first ever crop. All right, so how do I fill this watering can up, I wonder? Because it's nearly out of water. Huh. Not too sure. And I also wanted to go find out, see how much um, a silo was going to cost us. Um, so how many have we spoken to? We've spoken to 15 of 28 people. So we want to go find the lady that can sell us some house upgrades. And we also got to try and meet the rest of the townspeople. Ah, oh, there's a caravan here. Does someone live in here? Oh, there is someone. Hi. Oh, this is Pam. Hey, you. Don't be snooping around my trailer when I'm out. Got it? All right. Pam isn't very friendly. We'll leave her alone. Um, kind of lost, guys. I don't really know who we have seen and who we haven't seen. Oh, there's someone at the end of the dock here. This is Willie. Ah, oh, this is the guy that said he had something for us. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. But it was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I'm sure we probably can. Yeah, now we got a fishing rod. You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you ever need supplies. I also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. That's kind of gross. <laughs> All right, so was there anything else here? Nope. Let me just have a look in here. So this is obviously his shop. All right. Excellent. Can I pick up the rope or anything? No, I can't. All right. So, ooh, what is that? Ah, it's an oyster. Thanks. We'll take some oysters. Wonder if I can sell them. Wonder if they're worth anything. What is that? Oh, can't pick that up. Who is this? Haven't met you yet, I don't think. This is Elliot. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. 
I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, it's very nice to meet you too, Elliot. I'm just going to pick up some clamshells and some oysters. Join us. Thrive. This is Joja Mart. Isn't this where we used to work? Didn't it just say Joja is life when we quit our job? Hi there. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? This is Morris. I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris Joja, customer satisfaction representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Well, I don't know if we will because I remember I worked for you and we didn't get along. I left my job. So can I talk to you? Okay, no, I can buy some stuff. I didn't want to buy some stuff. I wanted to talk to the cashier. Hmm. I wonder if there's anyone else in this supermarket. Nope. It looks like just the cashier and the manager. Alrighty, out we go. There was a dude that left who had a cap on. I don't actually know where he went. Alright, so I can't actually seem to find everyone. We've still got two people left, but I'm sure we'll find them somewhere along the lines. We do have a letter here, and it says, Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Yes, I do really want the backpack, Pierre, but we just don't have that sort of money. So maybe we might try and sell some of our stuff. Um, I also might place down this little wooden ship inside. I picked it up somewhere along the lanes and we really don't need it just cruising around in our inventory. There, all right. Well, it looks like I have to place it on our table. There we go. So that's one extra spot that we have there. And I really don't know how I meant to fill my watering can. I haven't figured that out yet, but it also occurred to me that we didn't actually check out our own farm very well. So I'm guessing this is our entire farmland. Oh, there looks like there's a there's a little building over here. Hang on, I'm gonna have to chop some stuff out of the way so we can get over. Can I repair this, I wonder? Is this a, a repairable building structure? Whatever this once was, it's now in ruins. Well, I can see that, but can I fix it? That'd be kind of cool if I could. Holly, wait for my return. On the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. Okay, so Grandpa's coming home at some stage. Awesome. Ah, there we go. So I just go over to the water with my watering can, and that's how I fill it up. Excellent. Better go down and water our crops. Jeez, I'm gonna have to, really gonna have to get busy getting rid of some of this stuff because it gets in the way. It's kind of pain in the bum. Alrighty, so I can't actually figure out where I'm meant to buy the upgrade for houses and things from just yet. So what I did is I went back to Pierre's shop and we've bought some more beans. So I'm on my way back to the farm. We're gonna go plant some more of these beans down where there are other little bean patch here. So I guess we'll just place one here and one here. And these guys are obviously not going to be ready at the same time as the other guys, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. There we are. Excellent. We'll water these little guys. Excellent. So they shouldn't take too long at all to grow. And you know what? This grass is actually starting to bug me. I was going to wait uh, until we could get a silo before I started digging all this up. But it's actually starting to get on my nerves. So I'm I'm just going to clear this area out now. And then I don't need to look at it anymore. Beautiful. All right. So what do we have down here? So we got more farmland. Okay, cool. We've got a little bridge here. So I wonder, i got a fishing rod. Can I, can I do some fishing? How do I fish? Ooh. Okay, that was a good shot. I guess it's just a waiting game to see if we can catch a fish. Ooh, got him. Click to raise bar. All right, so I got to keep it below the fish. All right. Click, click, click. 
It looks like it's only a little fish. Yeah, we got him. We got a smallmouth bass. And he's 12 inches. Awesome stuff. First holly fish. That is excellent. I wonder if I can sell this guy. Oh, that's right. I could sell it to that fishmonger because he said if it smells, it sells. <laughs> So, but I think I'm actually gonna have to leave this episode here today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. And I hope to see you all again soon. All right, thanks guys, bye.